Andy, can I just ask you about the, the team and you know, four new, new caps starting and potentially four coming off the bench? How, how much of a, a balancing act, for want of a better phrase, was it that you, you know, were able to give people a chance who have done well in the last couple of weeks uh, vis a vis people who are more established international players? Yeah, it is a balancing act because uh, because this is a team game, isn't it? You know, it is. It's just about the team and uh, the the individuals within the team are sort of super important. But it's, it's about performance and it's about the individuals uh, making sure that they can they can put the best foot forward for 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 the team, you know, and, and deliver um, what's been asked of them. So getting that balance right is is um, is is key for 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 any uh, selection selection week. Um, no, there is. It's, it's lovely uh, as a coach to be able to give people uh, the first caps, but it's also it's also great to grow the experience of the group as well. There's quite a few lads there that get the first start, uh, etc. And you know, uh, Joey gets to um, go out there and control the game again from, uh, from from ten, and James gets to captain the side again, uh, which is which is great for his experience uh, down the track as well. Well, he, he he is, and uh, um, he's 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 obviously been through a lot, but he uh, he caught fantastically well last week uh, to back that up, and uh, I'm sure that the nerves uh, are well settled after knowing that he can he can perform in a which was a very difficult game, a tough game against a, a really well drilled side in Japan. So I'm, I'm sure that he's uh, he, he's really looking forward to this weekend. One hundred percent. That's 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 exactly what we're looking for. You know, can they, can they um, uh, pull out their point of point of difference on the field, which which we um, which they're all there to to express themselves. And but but at the same time, uh, can they can they be a team first uh, player, and and, and uh, can they perform under pressure? You know, because I'm sure that there'll be a few nerves. Um, but uh, concentrating on the detail, uh, concentrating on how we want to function as a team has got to be has got to be priority, and, and then being able to bring out your points of difference within that uh, within that script is uh, is a t- is a difficult balancing act, isn't it? You know, and that's and that's what international football is all about. Cheers, thanks very much. Thanks, Gorky. Well, as as we keep on uh, banging on about uh, coming into an international camp uh, for the first time, it's pretty daunting, you know, because uh, you, you've been so used to uh, one way of playing, and it's it's ingrained in you uh, of how you play at your province. Learning new calls, um, getting to understand new teammates, uh, getting about your work within within six or seven days to be, to be able to, to to perform at your best is. Is a difficult one, you know, and it takes it takes time to be able to get really, really good at that. So, um, I'm looking I'm looking to see uh, with the newcomers whether they can, they can deliver f- for the team um, what we've been trying to work on and what we've been trying to improve on as a team. They've they've got to be a part of that. And um, you know what what tends to happen sometimes when you when you think you've got an opportunity, you you become a little bit desperate, you know, and the the desperation can can get in the way of how we want to perform. So just trying to calm them down, get them to understand what they need to focus on, the detail, you know, getting getting the detail to get um, and getting the togetherness of the team right. I'm sure will uh, will um, uh, grab a hold of their attention. Well, look, we, we've we've absolutely loved the, the the last three weeks. It's it's been an absolute privilege we, to to work with so many new players and get to know them, how they take, how they how they perform in training under pressure. Uh, is is always very interesting. But also, you know, some of the some of the lads that's been in camp for maybe just eighteen months or two years, etc. They've got a handful of caps and step up into the leadership role and. 
uh, and and see how they cope with that has been has been uh, fantastic to watch as well. The likes of Kaelin Doris and, and, and Joey um, and uh, Hugo Keenan, uh, along with James, you know, who's who's uh, new enough to the to the leadership group. Never mind the captaincy. They, they've they've worked overtime in making sure that the their team um, their team is as prepared as as it possibly could be. So. I think they've done a marvellous job. They'll lo- they'll love they've loved the experience, and I'm sure that they'll learn from it. Thanks, Andy. Andy, how does the player depth in Irish rugby now compare to five years ago when you first arrived here? I think it's I, I think it's pretty good. I, th- I think it's getting I think it's getting better and better, you know. And 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 that's why this these these windows uh, are, are so important. You know, we we we've talked about um, about missing out on tours, etc. Um, and and they're pretty pretty important to to um, to, to grow the depth, but. You know, there's always one or two positions that you would you would like to see people coming through and have a little bit more depth. But that's that, that's a, a given in any in, in any type of squad. I, I would have thought. Um, but we're we're unbelievably happy uh, with uh, the um, the depth. It's, it's it's the competition now, isn't it? It's, it's 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 people going home after this window. I'm really having a good think after the summer uh, whether they consistently want to be back in the room um, uh, and, and be. Uh, you know, not just a, a one capper or a, a five capper. Can they? Can they? Can they have the hunger now and the consistency and the know-how to to get themselves to to thirty caps? And that's the type of attitude that we want. The selection is it with one eye on two years' time for the World Cup in France? Um, I, I suppose there's always uh, the, as a coach, you're always about the here and now, and you know the the. The next competition that's down the line, and the next competition after that, and a, a little bit on the future as well. Growing competition is is absolutely key. If we've got um, um, five or six players in each position that are really, really competing against each other, you know, the 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 the, uh, the next competition, and the, the and certainly two years two years on from that, um, when we get to the World Cup, it'll start looking after itself.